Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here uh, for the first episode ever of Broken Cosplay. That's where you dress up like a fucking comic book character. Anyway, <laughs> uh, for our first episode, we have. Oh, well, introduce yourself. So. I am Jan Armstrong, newbie cosplayer, so don't hate. Uh, today will be our first interview doing kind of. Uh, just, just talking about. Because this was your first cosplay, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. I okay. was very excited about it. Um, he busted this one out at Fan Expo. Uh, we're going to be having some videos coming up about that. Uh, not quick. We wanted to do a music video. Didn't film enough footage, so we're gonna hit a couple more cons and then we'll do our music video. But uh, yeah, we ran into you there for the first time. I didn't, I didn't know you did the wrestling or anything. I yeah. just thought you were just pretty good Green Arrow. So thank you. Who do you cosplay? It's Green uh, Arrow. <laughs> it's Green Arrow. <laughs> and and not the not the uh, the uh, Oliver Quinn Green Arrow. Um, it's nope. it's. Uh, I really enjoy the television Green Arrow mm -hmm. or television show Arrow. The new um, one. I still have Unfortunately, seen it, so I, I had not the uh, ability to go out and just buy a all brand new Oliver Quinn mm -hmm. Green Arrow costume for $350. So uh, I had uh, a friend who's a relatively good uh, sewer, mm -hmm. and uh, we purchased some, nice. uh, some of the uh, pleather style material, and uh, we just we went to town. And uh, I wanted a really large hood for the, the gimmick that I did. Um, it's not quite done yet because we got to get the hood to fall a little bit better than <laughs> But like I said, it's the first time for us. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna be cherry pop. Yeah The first time for me, but it's fitted so it fits well in the chest nice with the hood and then yeah, and then the hood comes up and so it's pretty nice. We're gonna get wire in here. So it's also it has the yeah, same so, shape, so yeah, so it'll stay the same shape mm -hmm. We're actually gonna stitch it in the shoulders so it sits a little bit better yeah and uh actually today's sunday right so uh a week from today uh, i will be in moose job and a friend of mine will be donning the green arrow vest with a with the the, the pants and the whole, the whole get thing it. yeah and uh, i will be donning the uh nice the death stroke mask and gimmick <laughs> and we will actually be having a uh, professional wrestling match as Green Arrow versus Deathstroke, that is for, awesome. For uh, for a charity event for a children's hospital in Musha. That is awesome. I would love to do like something like that too with like Joker, but I don't know any strong enough Batman. I'm like a foot taller than most of the Batman I know. Mm. Sorry, Sebastian. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but no, this is always the cosplay I like more because I mean anyone can go out and buy a freaking costume. Yeah, anybody can do that, but. Making your own costume, making it your own. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you have some love for the show. I do. I yeah, do. exactly. And I mean, that's that's what really gets people into it. So, but like, it's, like a, it's a little big. Like, yeah, it's just a little big. But <laughs> okay, it's, you look like a Dementor. Yeah, that's totally. <laughs> Is that a Harry Potter thing? I think I think JP hates me. He's yelling at He's me or something. Waving anyway. profanities at us. He gave me the finger a lot. Anyway. Mm. Um, but no, the main thing here, uh, really is, uh, like, what, like, this was your first con that you yes. actually did in costume. Like, has this been something that's been kind of, like, you've been wanting to do for a while? Or, like, like what kind of sent you over the edge? Well, like, absolutely. you want to do uh, it? Uh, about four years ago, I, uh, attended my first con okay. in Winnipeg. You are going to the same... You're going Even. To be, you're going I don't know what you're saying, JP. You're going to, you're going to be you speak all, crazy. You're going to I know be, I'm going to the same event. I'm you're going to be at Calling All Heroes next Sunday. <laughs> yes, yes I am. And so you'll be seeing me fight as as the Green Arrow. That will be, that will be. Is that the same event? That's the same event. JP just lost his goddamn <laughs> mind back there. <laughs> That's the same event. We're going to Calling All Heroes next week in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. I at the Heritage Inn Convenience Center. Well, we will be doing a charity event called Calling All Heroes for the Moose Jaw Children's Hospital Wing. And this video will be up like two weeks after it oh, happens. I guess so. <laughs> it's just shaking it. It's going to be tomorrow. It's, I know. I know. It comes out tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, um, but no, I, yeah, I'll, I'll be there in my full Joker getup. I know. Okay. i got to shave this off again. I i got to figure out a cosplay where I can keep my goatee or whatever I'll the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just do arrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Steal my guy. The uh, hood's too big. It doesn't matter anyway. But no, it's good that you actually decided to get into it. And uh, with the Deathstroke mask, uh, who, like, like was that sell, Like was that made with some friends? or? No, this actually I got on a, a luchador wrestling website. That actually it, looks pretty it's good. It's a pretty, pretty sick mask. That actually, yeah, that, yeah that, it's, it's a, pretty good. I it's like a pretty that. deadly mask. Yeah. And, 
But yeah, I got it off a Lucio Wrestling website because I wanted to originally do um, a Deathstroke outfit. Yeah. And uh, my full tactical gear. I'm getting full riot gear for the Deathstroke outfit. Nice. Are you gonna uh, you're gonna do some accents that kind of? Uh, thing I would to, like to. Hopefully, yeah. I'll, I'll have it in time to be able to do some for next weekend. Um, if not, well, it'll be all black and. Uh, well, I mean, that's the whole thing when it comes to cosplay. A lot of people, they always think if you don't do it, like, exactly by the comics, oh, God, you're, you know, you're breaking rules or something mm -hmm. like that. That That's not the whole point. I mean, I'm assuming you had a good time, right? Yes, absolutely. The so whole fun. point so of fun. a con is to go there and have fun. Be the character you want to be. Have some fun. I mean, I do the Joker. I kill people, possibly, and mm -hmm. dump them in the dumpster. <laughs> And I like, fun. I, like, I like the the ones that you don't see at uh, Comic Con. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I mean, no offense, but you, mm -hmm. you see a lot of jokers. You do. At Con. You do. And uh, I'm not a joker in any way. Like I don't. I must. Don't. You don't I, seem. I, that I don't. Funny. I don't have the body You're type. You're not funny. Yeah, no, I'm not funny. And I don't have the body type for a joker. But um, I like this one. My next uh, outfit, if once I get the the uh, full Deathstroke one done, mm -hmm. is I want to do a few fine tunes on the uh, the Green Arrow. Yeah. But I would actually do like to do Baron Zemo. Nice. Yeah, so with the purple hood really? and the lines and everything like else. That. Yeah, I would like to do a solid Baron Zemo. That's, that is fantastic. That's, that's my goal. And so, yeah. well, see, because you don't <laughs> see Baron Zemo very often, and uh, I've only seen one. And it was kind of, it was a really baggy outfit, and hopefully, if I get my abs back, then uh, we. Can... <laughs> I won't Dude, look, you're I preaching in the choir. She, I tried pulling off Dante. I was like, man, I gotta do more crunches or something. <laughs> so this, is, this is not working out. Uh, um, but no, I mean, like, what, what what kind of advice would you give someone like who's thinking about going to cosplay? Like, what kind of experience did you have with your first time? Was it really fun? Would would you like like just just do it? That kind of don't thing? procrastinate. If yeah. I have any advice for you, do not procrastinate. Get it done well in advance. Get your costume done at least a week before the event. That way, if there are any small fine tuning that you need to do the week of, you can get it done. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the, when I did it, I was you know, I went out and bought my bow the day before the event because <laughs> I didn't have a bow. Procrastinate. <laughs> and uh, but it turned out okay, you know. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, it was a small bow. It was a child's bow, but my wife's getting into archery and she's a little person, so uh, it's all good. She's little a, person, you're well, using the not, proper terminology. Well, she's not a midget, no, but she's. You know, five three, and it actually fits her hand because she's about the size of a twelve year old. Oh, so fair enough. It's right. good. Oh, that's pretty good. And uh, you know, if uh, you know you're you're looking for any cosplay tips, that sort of thing. Trust me, even the professional cosplayers I know, like the ones who've been doing it for years. That is actually a pretty good rule. None of them follow it. Like, literally, the day before a con, you'll see on Facebook just like, ah, oh, wig didn't show up. Ah, oh, this isn't ready. Blah 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 blah. Yes. Make sure you're good to go well in advance. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean... Uh, Otherwise, you. you're waiting the week of the show for a set of <laughs> riot gear to come in from China, and it doesn't show up. Chinese riot gear. Mm, I don't think it'll fit me. Does uh, does the brake not work, and then you drive into a car, <laughs> into a building? <laughs> that comes with a helmet and full gimmick and blocks my nuts and everything. That's, That's pretty, pretty fun. Good. Well, I mean, you you got to be careful there. Some of those kids, they'll just, they'll just punch well, you. Well, absolutely. And I mean, uh, if you, you know... Try to you kids. Molest a woman, she'll kick you in the nuts. So yeah, <laughs> you gotta watch what you say. Uh -huh. Cosplay doesn't equal consent. No, it doesn't. Uh, anyway, I want to thank you very much for coming on for the no, first thanks episode. For uh, thanks very much for kind of going over everything. I hope to see you at many more cons. And I hope, hope uh, you know, if you are kind of sitting there thinking about getting into cosplay, do it. I mean. There's there's no real reason why not to do it. It actually it's actually become way more mainstream than it used to be. Yeah. Anybody can cosplay now. <laughs> if you had a good time here, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit like. Uh, please leave us a comment. You know if you're thinking about doing cosplays or I, I don't know is it sign language. Uh, <laughs> well, comments if, go down here, you dumb dumb, and then uh, you could kick the like button up here.